Hey, how's it going everyone, and welcome back. So in this video, I want to go over all the loot that I got from the Crota's End raid and all the new loot that you can get from the Crota's End challenge modes. Now, apparently from what I've heard, some of these weapons are actually pretty good, so let's take a look at what I got. So firstly on my Titan, at the Death Singer challenge mode, I got the Oversoul Edict, and because this is the challenge mode, it's the exotic version of the raid primary, so this has an elemental burn, whereas the other raid primaries do not. You also get an emblem for completing the challenge modes. Then for the Crota challenge mode, I got the exotic version of Abyss Defiance and the regular version of the Fang of Eerie Youth. Next, onto my Hunter for the Death Singer challenge, I got the Relentless Harness chest piece and the exotic version of Fang of Eerie Youth. Then for the Crota challenge, I got the exotic version of the Word of Crota and the Unyielding Cask Helmet. Then lastly onto my Warlock, I got the exotic version of the Fang of Eu Utes again, and the Death Singer's Herald Boots. Then finally for Crota, yet again I got the exotic version of the Fang of Eu Utes, the Ascendant Ghost Shell, and the Song of Eu Utes Machine Gun. So all in all, as you can see, I actually managed to get all the exotic raid primaries from the Crota challenge modes, got the Word of Crota hand cannon which does void damage, the Oversoul Edict pulse rifle which does arc damage, the Abyss Defiant auto rifle which does solar damage, and the Fang of Eu Utes scout rifle which does arc damage. Also got the regular version, but I'm not going to need that since I have the elemental version. I also got the Swordbreaker shotgun and two Hunger of Crota rocket launchers which drop from the bridge section. As for the rest of my gear, let's take a closer look. Firstly, the Ascendant Ghost Shell that I got. It looks... okay, it's not great. Then for my Titan, I have the Mark of the Pit class item. This actually dropped from the Abyss section, and it looks kind of cool as well with the ornament. Looks really cool how it glows. Then also from the Abyss section, I got this artifact, Oversoul's Pang. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any sort of special effects, so it's kind of useless to be honest. Next is my Hunter gear, here's a look at the chest piece and the helmet that I got. Both of these pieces look really cool, it looks incredible how much better the armour looks with the ornaments. Especially when you pair the ornaments with a dark shader, it really makes it stand out. Then lastly for my walk, unfortunately only managed to get the boots, which honestly just look like old man slippers. I mean, look at these things. So that is it for my Crota's End raid loot, I'll be doing another video on my Vault of Glass raid loot once the Vault of Glass has been released as well as the other raids. Now as I said in the beginning, apparently some of these weapons are actually pretty good, more specifically the exotic primaries. Aside from the fact that they have elemental burns which gives them an advantage over most primaries in PvE, and apparently they're actually pretty good in PvP as well. So I guess at some point I'm going to make some more videos on these weapons and go over them and just see how well they actually perform and see for myself. So as always, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, positive ratings are greatly appreciated, and I'll talk to you in my next video.